so <clears throat> it occurs to me that I should probably make some of these videos shorter. I think episode 3 is like almost an hour long, so I'm going to make these shorter. But um, I've just come into a red system, and uh, there's a planet here with rubium. I need rubium to finish off my uh, science terminal at my base. I'm not even sure if the terminals are built because I moved again and I'm not sure if I rebuilt the terminals. I probably need the science and the agriculture. I know I need this one for science. And meanwhile, there's six planets in the system, so there's a lot of other stuff to explore. But let's go ahead and get some rubium. Rubium, I believe, uh, kind of looks like iridium. It's a large red block. Oof, strange looking planet. Difficult time finding this. Evening. Maybe it's changed, you know. Maybe it's not. Uh, maybe it's not a big red block anymore. Maybe it's underground or something. Let's go ahead and just land right here. Oof. Intense rainfall. So I'm just going to get drowned by the rain. Maybe not. Two more suspension fluids. Nanites. I'm going to grab some iron, since I don't think I have any. I think I'm going to grab some zinc. in their barrels. Oh, man, that cluster is good. So I should kill more of these guys. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? Uh, so, yeah. I need to oh, search for Rubian. Hmm. 
can... No, this may not... Uh, may not be in this area. Nickel. So then where would the ruby be? What's this? Nickel. Okay. So that's nickel. of it right there. Boy, this is going to take a while. Okay, so I've got the rubium back at my base. I do need to put a science terminal in here. If there's anything next. Okay, so that's the end of that's the end of that. Now the agricultural guy, which I don't have a terminal for that either, he's gonna want viridium. Whenever that uh, shows up, so all right. Then I'll go ahead and sell the remainder of my ribbon. Two ninety per piece. That's quite a bit. Go ahead and sell that too. I got these suspend. I don't need those. I'll just sell those. So, uh, okay, well, well, I'm here, might as well do another pearl round, I guess, but, uh, but yeah, I want to try to make these videos a little shorter, so, uh, I will just, uh, probably just kind of capture the highlights of the journey. Now, here's something interesting now. We have, I'm on a, an extreme hot planet, and of course you see the Gravitino balls there. It's, uh... Uh, high security sentinels too, but here's Radnox. 
and I definitely enjoy finding these uh, special exotic elements. But yeah, so yeah, an extreme hot planet, so uh, that's potential for red knocks. Found another space anomaly, and we're here at Polo. Is asking me to transmit species data. Alien, alien colonist encounters level eight or above. I'm level ten on that, so hopefully he gives me a new, maybe Atlas Pass two, or perhaps warp reactor Tau. So let's find out what happens here. Um, wow, well, that's underwhelming. Uh. Okay, uh, so I just uh, started up my game again, and, you know, no sooner do I leave the planet I was on, an anomaly just magically appears. I don't think that there was one in this system when I s ended the game. Um, so I talked to Polo, transmit the data, and uh, guess what? I get, uh, where is it? Warp Reactor Tau. So this is what I need. Strange things this game does. Um, also, on my way to the Galactic Hub, I discovered, and uh, using the Pilgrim Star website, that there is another sort of gathering place that's on my way that I was going to stop and check out called, uh, I believe it's called Capital Triangle. So, I'm actually going to stop there and have a look around there first and see how active that is. Um, because I was... I wasn't only interested in the Galactic Hub. I'm also interested in, um, you know, finding other people's bases, even if they aren't at the Hub. But I suspect that a Capital Triangle, there's probably there's probably some more uh, bases to look at. So I'll be heading there. And now that I have Warp Reactor Tau. That'll be easier. So now I have to manage uh, installing it. And, you know, I've got Pulse Jet Tau 2, but I'm wondering if I should not put that on the ship because. Well, I guess I could. That'll make things easier until I can afford a new, a new ship. I can always disable it later. So I need a nickel and a heck of a lot of aluminum. I don't know how much aluminum and nickel I've got back at my base. I know I probably don't have that much nickel. And I don't I know I don't have two dynamic resonators, but I'm just gonna buy those anyway. Um so yeah, I'll take a look and uh we'll get that going. I need to... So let's go ahead and go back to my base and see how much we have. If I can find the... Space station. It's up here. Okay. And I'm running into rocks.
and I realize I'm quickly running out of time. Oh boy, I'm really running out of time now. If I can get around this and get into the... That's okay. They will fail. I'm running out of time to get to the hub. August 12th is only 10 days away. Nine if you don't count today. So, oof. I don't know if I'm going to make it. I've got a busy schedule this week. <laughs> well, not so busy that I don't have time to play, but... Um, oh, wrong way. Oh, wait a minute. Before I do this, I gotta make sure I know what this one's called. Sagan Dink. Okay, something like Sagan Dinks or something. I don't know. I'm not gonna bother renaming it because one little design flaw with this game is even if you rename a system, it doesn't appear as that renamed system in your teleport options. It appears as the original name, so... Yeah, I hope they fix that. here I'll probably do another pearl run too that'll be over three million now the amount I've got there okay so let's see aluminum uh, 400 nickel 33 so I need wow like 400 aluminum and <laughs> almost 600 nickel that's a lot there may be some in this system so Go around and have a look. Okay, on our way to another system, I have installed Warp Reactor Tau. I've also installed uh, Pulse Jet Tau and Shield Boost Theta on my exosuit. So I've got three major upgrades here and. I'm going to land on a planet and get my new uh, jump. See how many see how many jumps I am away from Capital Triangle, at least. If I can get out of range of this battle. And I've I've uh, I believe I doubled. How far I can go. Almost doubled. No, more than that. Almost uh, tripled the distance I can travel now. here into the website oops d3 
three. There we go. Okay, let me. My hyperdrive is now, I believe, one one eight four. It's telling me it's 100, well, can we up, is this updated? Yeah. 131 jumps to Capital Triangle. Really? That doesn't seem correct, unless I went the wrong direction. I may have gone the wrong direction. So, we'll try... It's, it's hard to determine vector... Holy smoke! That's some weird stuff there. Need a closer look. Just for the heck of it. since I've seen big flying stuff. Okay. So let's try a different vector here. Let's get out of this system. Center is there. All right. Let's turn. Oops. Turn this way. It's almost. It's not a 90 degree turn, but it is almost 70. But I feel like I haven't been turning enough. So, oop, I can go further yet. But I can't, yep, oh, I can go just a little bit further, maybe to this star, yeah, that'll do. Telling me I'm two regions above Capital Triangle, that's fine. Whoa. What kind of planet is this? Looks like a pretty harmless planet. Just don't take the elbow and pearls. Oh, it's a dead planet. Okay, so let's put this in, okay. Okay, zero two E one zero seven A. That one never seems to change. Zero C A four. Zero one one F. There we go. Now, okay, now it's updated. Now it's telling me 50, 50 jumps. 
the capital triangle. Only 50 jumps. Well. Oh. Well, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. One thing I had forgotten about Warp Reactor Tau is that I can now go to green star systems, which contain the viridium I need to finish off the agriculture terminal. So I'm going to grab some of that. Uh, I forget what it looks like, though. It's been a long time since I've... That's not it, I know. That's... Uh... I think that's something else. That's nickel. Okay. So viridium is this green stuff down here, I think. I only need a little bit. Of it. Yeah. It says it's exotic, but not really. I don't think it's worth that much. Let's see what it's worth here. Uh, uh, 302. Oh, well, that is quite a bit, actually. Um, hmm. Interesting. Well, well, I don't really need to mine it that much since I've already got means to make money with my album and pearls, but. Uh, Yeah, that was just something I'd forgotten about. And there's probably some other things in green systems, other than viridium, that uh, could be useful. Um, so, I'm very confused here. I'm... I'm... I can't seem to... This game's doing something very weird. Um... I can't, I can't R1 over to those, those two, and the, the blue and the red there, that's not, I've not seen that before. Or what? Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Um, uh, I mean, I can free look, but I don't... I don't know what that means, but... So... It's not giving me a path towards the Atlas interface anymore. Maybe I'm too far away... or something. I don't know what's going on, but anyway, um, let's go one more jump and take a reading on the distance. Go for that, I think. Yeah, let's go. That's that'll be fine. Okay. Okay, I need to pull up the Pilgrim Star path here. access the galactic map from here and it's okay now it's not doing that so whatever that was that was strange I had not seen that before maybe somebody else knows what that is 
Okay, so let's land on this planet. Looks to be safe enough. Coordinates here zero two E seven zero 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 seven A zero C A nine zero one A C Okay, now I need to need to change my One one two four. That's how many light years I can go. Okay. So it's telling me, yeah, fifty jumps. It's fifty jumps to the capital triangle. Let's see how many jumps to the galactic hub. Galactic Hub is 155, 155 jumps. Not too bad. Alright, so we are well on our way. 